Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and this is Nessess and we are here once again at our wonderful little village. We have expanded it very recently in the last episode. We got ourselves a pirate and a stylus. We went to a pirate village and raided them. So we've got the broken pirate and you know what? I don't even know what these people sell. Let's go talk to them real quick. Interrupt their, their beauty sleep. See, let's see. I want to buy something from them. I might have to go get my gold. Let's see, spare boat parts used to craft steel boat. Huh. Okay, a fishing rod, pirate telescope. Extends travel and biome view range by one, that's cool. Lifeline, we picked one of these up actually, I think. Yeah, I have one of those. I also have the genie lamp, flintlock I received. Oh cool, you can buy gold bars, interesting. Map fragments. Oh, we can get more golden chairs and stuff. Nice. And he sells explosives. Very cool. Well, I'll definitely be coming back for the spare boat parts and the fishing rod, probably. I still have yet to do any fishing in this game whatsoever, but it's not a big deal. What is this? Oh, the hand cannon. Yeah, I have one of those, too. But uh, these are our newest apartments. I built four of them. We also recruited a villager, Alistair. Um, but the, we do have a free room. I'd like to build a couple more rooms, too, just so I have a c extras. But let's see. I want to buy some. This is the stylist. So she was being held hostage at the pirate village. Oh, cool. Plague mask, plague robe, captain's hat. Yeah, but we did rescue her. So I've already bought the sailor hat, sailor shirt, and sailor shoes off the traveling merchant. I'd like to get the blacksmith i'd like to sell it or give it to the uh, gunsmith because sometimes it's nice to have distinctive um looks on your npc so you can pick them out real easily now i'll remember that the pirate guy is the gunsmith or the sailor is the gunsmith and that helps just you know figure out where everybody's at but i want to also buy oh crap i need to go get some coinage yeah let me grab some gold now, I was trying to figure out a way to, like, store my gold. I was hoping that I could put it inside the void bag. Because I bought a second void bag, by the way. So I put the gold in there, and I was testing it to see if I can still make purchases with the gold while it's in the void bag. But I don't think it'll let me. I tried it, but it won't work. Let's try it again. Now, see, I can't. So I literally have to come in here, take this, put it in my inventory. It's a shame, too. I was hoping that would work. I don't know, maybe there's a piggy bank or something we can buy. Anyway, I just need to get... Oh, look, sniper rifle. Very cool. Now, I need a bunch of bullets, though. Give me a couple stacks of these. I gotta make some void bullets. And I should have plenty of the void shards. Let's go find out. It's going to be important. Before we do anything else, i got to make sure my ammo is up to snuff. All right, there we go. Oh, shoot, I just made bouncing bullets, damn it. No, I want void bullets. There we go. Okay, so let me put the rest of these other smaller bullets away. Put that in there. Should I take the bouncing bullets? Yeah, I'll bring them. I'll put them in the back, though, just in case. Oh, look, I already have a small stack of them. Let me get rid of some of these. Don't really need the arrows. Let's put the bullets. That. Okay. Very good. Oh, look. I've got cannonballs in here, too. No. I'll put those in the chest. But I will put some arrows back in case, for whatever reason, I want to switch. Okay. That's good. Now, let's put these away. Okay. Very good cannonball all right i think we are set so what i'd like to do is use this ladder i did pick up this deep ladder down so this takes us to the deep caves i have no idea what that is or what that's like but we are going to venture below so um i don't know where to put this really let's just put it down here in the corner there we go all right so hmm a little nervous. A little nervous about going down to the deep caves. I don't know if I'm ready. Let's look at the map again. Yeah, I could probably put another, like, set of apartments right here. But then again, I don't know. I want to kind of leave some of this area open for our farm and stuff. I could definitely put some in this little block. I think that's not a bad idea. 
Also, I could probably mirror this right here, put another like four, four square section up in this general area. So, all right, anyway, enough stalling. Let's jump in the, oh, look at this. Getting hot down here, baby. I do have some bombs. Oh, look, there's like vine things over there. What is that? Okay, okay. Yep, the bombs still work here. What is this, deep stone? Interesting wonder what that'll turn look like. I don't have any torches. Hold on. They're in my void bag. All right, let's grab a stack. Okay. Got to be careful. I don't have any idea what kind of enemies are... Oh, God. Skeletons. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're getting bones. Oh, oh. Our, our little vultures are doing the trick, though, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're fantastic companions. They fly right through the stone and stuff. So, yeah, doing okay. Let's see. I'm going to very cautiously kind of keep, hug the edge here. I don't want to take any unnecessary damage. You know, it's not going to kill me probably. But just in a place like this, a new area, you want to be extra careful. And I'm going to be very generous with my torches too. Oh, here we go. Is that a chest or? Yeah, there's a chest right there. Nice. So this these vines aren't threatening at all. They're just they're just there. There's two chests, one right over there and one right here. Okay, we got bananas. Not bad. What is that? Bone arrows? Interesting. And of course, you know me, or if you don't, I'll just I like to always pick up the chest. I never leave an empty chest behind. That way I always know. You know, if I find a new chest or I come across one, it's it's brand new. And it's not something I've already discovered and just left behind. Let's see, what is this? Is this iron or... could be gold. It's hard to tell. Iron ore. Okay. I'm hoping maybe we'll find some unique ore down here in the deep area. I feel like, what's the point, right? If there's nothing special down here. I'm sure there is. Oh, I forgot all about my mount. Hmm. Tell you what, let's use some bombs. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Watch yourself, buddy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's keep going. Ah, yes. Opening up new pathways. Oh, dead end. Okay, let's keep going. That's what I brought the bombs for. To use them. Whoa. Did that not dis that didn't knock this wall down at all? What is this stuff? <gasps> okay, I can't knock this down. Not even with my. Yeah, that's not working. So that's like a I don't know what that is. Huh. Okay. So there's definitely something down here we can't mine with our current demonic pickaxe. Okay. Okay. I mean that just me that just tells me that there's got to be some sort of noob ore or something down here. So I should probably just be following some open pathway or something, but I don't really I didn't see a lot. Okay, here's an opening up here. Let's head towards this. There's so much lava, bro. It's like any open space is just dominated by the the red gooey stuff. Yep, our vultures are handling business, though. All right, let's go. Oh. I wonder if the bones themselves... Oh, there comes, like, a ghost or something. Get him. Yeah, it's... Ooh, ectoplasm. Bones and ectoplasm. Now that... Might be... That might be the stuff we're looking for. Maybe that's what we use to construct our next set. This is gold ore. I'm pretty sure the demonic pick that I have is has a higher mining damage or tool damage or whatever than the than the uh, gold does. So I think I'm still this is still not what we're looking for necessarily in terms of progression, but I am gonna grab it just for making different stuff. Come here. Oh yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's one. It's a room. Oh. Let's hit the trap. 
I don't know why I'm still like surprised when I enter one of these rooms like there's not oh depth catcher okay we just got a fishing rod interest oh, what's this tungsten bars there you go shadow gate calls for a powerful ghost we just got a boss summoner all right so that teaches me two things tungsten is what we're looking for and there's another boss here and also I can't even break these walls down interesting all right so we need tungsten 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 now I wonder does it occur naturally in the deep stone or is that something that only occurs in this purplish material I've yet to find tungsten but just might be more rare than some of the others so I don't know we'll find out Let's see. oh damn it hitting dead ends over here let's see how many bars did we get four okay in my experience we'll need like 12 to 15 maybe oh we're at the top of the map yeah to construct the next pickaxe so we will keep exploring until we get to that point or until I die or whatever whoa I do see another ghost down here. I'm going to head towards this direction, I guess. Actually, let's just backtrack a little bit. Get over here, ostrich. Hold on, I need to eat, too. There we go. All right. Oh, we, we've got a fire debuff on us. i got to watch that. Yeah, going into the lava is a stupid idea. Mm. Okay, look. Dude, there's like a whole area over there. Yeah, yeah. We're going that direction. I wish this walking torch was better at its job. It really kind of sucks. All right, let's drop a bomb right here. I mean, it's better than nothing. Don't get me wrong. If I were to dismiss the walking torch, I'm sure it would suck. But Okay, there's a skeleton miner there. I think that's like a gold chest or something. Let's get ready. Get ready, guys. Get them vultures. Go. I think the bed's blocking me. Hold on. There you go. Get them vultures. Nice. Oh, he just dropped tungsten ore. That's cool. All right, what's in this? Battle potion. More tungsten. I just got five. Um, I don't know. Is this a gold chest? Maybe it's not. No, just a storage box. Okay, let's keep looking. What's this? What is that? Oh, it's a flower pot. Okay. Yeah. It's hard to avoid. Get out of my way. This is my home now, skeleton. All right, very good. Got a chest. Look at that. More tungsten. Oh, heck yeah. I'm just going to be taking all this. Dude, this is a pretty big complex. Look at it. Did I miss this one? I did. All right, let's take it. Oh, you know what? I should be grabbing these beds, too. It's handy. It's good. It'll be good to have a nice stack of beds. Screw it. I'm just taking all this furniture. I'm getting greedy. Got a lot of enemies. It's all right. Clear this place out. Let's go. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Mm. What else we got? What else? More potions. More tungsten. Dude, I love how there's tungsten in like every chest. That's nice. Okay. Getting a little bit full. What is this? Void pouches. I guess I didn't need two of them. Let's get rid of that. Mm, I can throw the chests away now, really. I don't need to keep them. I just, like I said, I like to pull them up so I don't have to get confused and stuff. But let's keep going. I'm not ready to leave yet. We're getting too much good stuff. Well, what is the exterior? God, this place is giant. There's like a whole underground complex down here. What? Oh, I just want to kind of run through here real quick. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. You guys are tougher than I gave them credit for. Nice. All right, survived, but only barely. Oof, this gun is pretty powerful. Hmm. Okay. This is a big area. A lot of chests still. A lot of chests to go through. See some gold ore. How much tungsten do we have right now? Hold on. 
check. Um, 16. Okay. Okay, just checking things out. Just kind of scoping out the whole area. This is interesting. Go through here. Oh, oh, bro. That dude's going to have hella tungsten ore. No, no, damn it. <gasps> He's hanging out in the lava. Sorry, bud. That's a dead end, bro. Yeah, he's going to have a ton of ore on him. Probably drop like 20 pieces. Get back here. Notice how my, my minions don't attack him, though. Nice. He's got like 18 of them. All right, I kind of want to come in here. Just clear this out real quick. Just for all the tungsten, basically. All right, let's do that real quick. Oh, and the beds. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. I'm just going to break everything. Pick up whatever we can. Just go from there. Good. Got a couple of miners right here. Let's break through the wall. Oh, dude. I just looked at my health and it was almost gone. All right. We're going to have to take a, take a scroll back home here, I think. Yeah, there's a little bit more to explore, but that's okay. We're not too far from where we started so it's not like i can forget where this is at but i think it's time to come home unload some of our stuff and see exactly what we can make with our tungsten yeah first things first let's get um, i have to empty some of this out okay that's good enough hold on furniture there we go put the construction materials right here Deep stone walls. Interesting. Okay, that's a summoning item. That goes... Where does that go? It's hard to see. I got too many minions here. Music. We got a piece of music. Alright. There we go. Boss summoners. I feel like I'm nowhere near ready to fight that boss, but we'll just have to wait and see once I get... Uh, once I start getting some more tungsten in, how much we need to make like a full set. But, all right, let's go ahead and do it. No more messing around. Let's grab the ore. Whoops. Okay, I'll let that one cook. Take these out and put them in the other one. Okay, so I've got the tungsten. Where is it? That's obsidian. Where the hell did I get that from? Okay, where is my tungsten ore? Life quartz. There it is. Okay. And that is working. All right. Good. Good. Put this in there. Beautiful. The cave glow. Crafting material. Interesting. Cave, grow sp uh, cave glow sprout. Uh, oh, I wonder if this can be grown outside. It looks like it can. I'm going to just stick it in the chest for now. We'll play around with it a little bit later on. Let's see, same with the bananas. Got a ton of wheat. Look at this. I'm gonna grab all this, put this in our animal area. Actually, hold on. First things first, let's fill this up. Very good. And now we'll come up here. How's this doing? There we go. Tons of space. Beautiful. All right. Also, I should probably do a little bit of milking and shearing here because I don't think we have the right NPC to do it yet. Or if I do, I just haven't set it up. Because nobody seems to be doing it. But that's okay. We'll go through and... It's satisfying. It's nice, relaxing to do this yourself, kind of. You do... I, at this point, I'm getting a ton of materials, though. Look at this. Look how many sheep we got. I wonder if it's like Minecraft, where you can just keep filling up... Or, uh... Yeah, filling up a pin until it's, like, just literally jam-packed full. Oh, man. So, as soon as I get this milk... You know what? I should probably keep some milk just as is instead of making it all into cheese because i'm sure milk is probably an ingredient for some recipes although i don't know but i imagine it is all right that's good enough put our stuff away there goes the wizard Let's see i don't want to keep these on me nice all right very good oh hey speaking of animals we just got an animal keeper arrived at the haven well that's awesome let me grab some coins real quick because we're gonna hire that person for sure awesome okay uh you know i've also got some potions i really need to buy another potion pouch i've got two void pouches let's see it 
Oh, look, they link to the same thing. Is that right? Yes, they do. Okay, so they're totally pointless having two of them then. Let me just put one in my miscellaneous chest, I guess. Um, but I wonder about the potion bag now. Does that share the same inventory space too? It might, it might, but nonetheless, I'm gonna have to drop some of these potions off. There we go. All right, let's go talk to that villager. Get them to join us. Very good. What is this? Depths? Oh, that's my new fishing rod. Yes. We'll keep that. All right. What do we got? Ectoplasm. So I've got all my new crafting materials lined up right here, including the obsidian, the life quartz. I think there's a way that we can look up crafting stuff just based on like the material alone. Let's see. Where's the person? Where is he? All right. Let me. There, there she is right there. Come here, you. Yes, of course. Awesome. So let's see. I think I did set up the work zone already, but let's just check that. Open settlement. Command? No. Work priorities? I mean, this is important, but I assume it's all set properly. Husbandry? Yeah, she's literally the only person who can do it. And she's already working, so I'm pretty sure I've got it set here. Yeah. Husbandry zone is set right here. Beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like she's doing it. That's awesome. So we've got exactly what we need now. I'm sure there are probably some other kinds of villagers, but I'm not. I don't know of them. It's a mystery to me. All right, looking good. So let's go see how much of that uh, tungsten's been smelted and check and see what we can actually craft now. Beautiful. There's most of it. We've got one piece of ore left, so... I wonder if I need like a new anvil or something because tungsten doesn't even appear. What is that? Hardened shield. Oh, I might have to make a shield. I don't know. I've been using this little feather or whatever. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, inefficient. Is that is that a modifier or is that just what the name of it is? I noticed that. No, no, I'm not using a feather. The Zephyr boots. Yeah. Is that what's doing it? No, I'm crazy. I should have a shield. Why don't I right now? Huh. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'll have to experiment with the shield. Let's stay on point here, though, and look for an anvil, I guess. Demonic helmet? No. Void mask? Oh, that's max summon. Huh. Wait, what's better, the void suit or the suit I've got on? Probably the one I've got, I think. Because I've got the quartz stuff on. Anyway, let me keep looking here. Oh, what's that? Iron anvil. That's what we already have. Hmm. I might just have to look it up. What the hell's a landfill? Oh, used to fill out water. Interesting. Um, yeah, I might just have to look it up real quick. That way I'm not just sitting here searching forever. Okay, so I have found it. Um, you need to have, first of all, you have to have gone to the deep caves and got tungsten bars before it'll appear, I think. And then in the demonic workbench, you've got it here, the advanced workstation. That's what I need to craft and place. Oh, and I just threw it on the ground. There we go. Now this should, there we go. This should allow us right now. There we go. Ooh, glacial bar, mycelium bar, tungsten bar. Okay. Wait, so I can just craft the stuff right away with the ore? Huh. Is that right? That's interesting. Okay, there's a net. Oh, here we go. Tungsten pickaxe. All right, first thing, of course. Got to always upgrade the pickaxe first. Very nice. So that's 150 tool damage. This one's 127. So that's definitely an improvement. Big time. Looks like I can make some stuff out of the ectoplasm and bones. We can do some transmutation. Oh, yeah. And it has basically everything else the other crafting benches, too, do. Oh, look at this shadow bolt. Shoots a big homing projectile. Bro, I kind of want to try that. All right, let's make that. Put my shovel back in my void bag. 
And, oh, we've also got this Frost Piercer. It's a pretty cool weapon, although I don't think it has a heck of a lot of damage. But it is a summoning item, so I'll probably keep it. Because we do have my gear set right now is a buff to the summoning. All right, anyway. Okay. Interesting. Kill some of these sheep here. Looks good. It's uh, similar to the Blood Bolt in appearance, except blue or purplish, but... It doesn't really home on him home in on the critters, but that's not a big surprise. Let's see if there's any zombies or anything out here. I'm sure we'll be able to put it to the test coming up. But yeah, anything that will help us conserve our ammo and give us a range capability is definitely worth keeping in the hot bar. So I think we'll keep the shadow bolt around pretty sick weapon. And of course we're headed back to the deep dungeon guys in the next episode. That'll be our big priority trying to accumulate as much more stuff down below as we can. So appreciate everybody tuning in for this one. Hit that like and subscribe. If you guys are enjoying the necessity content, I know I certainly am. Uh, leave me some comments down below. It's been fantastic reading all the tips and tricks guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next episode.